Hey guys, what's up? This is Sessa from MX180. Today I want to share with you a simple diagram that I created to get my clients used to eating every three hours. Now, why do I believe in eating every three hours? Myself, personally, I've lost over 90 pounds over the last three years eating every three hours. Small portion meals spread out throughout the day. So this is a simple diagram that helps people see in writing uh, kind of how to split up their meals. So uh, if you're watching at home, take out a blank piece of paper and write, uh, draw four squares down the middle and five squares across. So four squares down the middle, five squares across. And I'd like you to write these numbers in. 35, 7, 5, 3. Then at the bottom we can write 8, 11, 2, 5, and 8. Okay, what do these numbers represent? 35. 35 represents the amount of times I eat per week. I eat a lot. I eat all the time. If you know me personally, you know I'm always munching on something or eating a piece of chicken breast or uh, some Greek yogurt. Seven is the uh, days in the week. So 35 times I'm going to eat seven days a week. So that means I'm going to eat five times a day. Now, not all meals are created equal. You've got your big three, which is your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I currently eat, uh, drink two protein shakes a day. So it could be a protein shake and then a snack. A snack could be a, a small fruit or a couple tablespoons of peanut butter, whatever you prefer, just something small uh, to get you through those uh, hungry moments. So for me, it's two protein shakes. So breakfast, protein shake, lunch, protein shake, and dinner. Uh, and the three represents the, uh, so I'm eating every three hours. So if I, this is just an example, if I wake up at 7 a.m., if you're a person that wakes up at 7 a.m., uh, we're going to try to eat at 8, 11, 2, 5, and 8. Some of these hours are going to vary. Sometimes it's going to be two hours here or a four-hour window here. What we really want to avoid is having a window where there's five or six or even seven hours without any nutrients. Uh, what this has helped me to do is really speed up my metabolism. My body's always working to process food. Um, so if the nice thing about this diagram is... Most people don't eat breakfast. So what I recommend to those people is if you're not a breakfast person, it's okay. Put your protein shake here in the morning, two hours or three hours later, have your breakfast, then your lunch or your snack. So these uh, these meals or these uh, meals or snacks, they're interchangeable. So you can put them at whatever time you'd like. One of the key concerns is the late meals. Uh, a lot of times people don't want to eat late. They have it in their mind that they're going to lose weight or gain weight if uh, if they eat late. Now, I lived it personally. I used to get home at 2 or 3 a.m. and stop by one of the fast food joints, eat a big old hamburger with a big old large fries and a huge uh, Diet Coke. Now, those kind of meals will affect your health goals and fitness goals. Now, if I get to at home at 2 a.m. today and I still need to eat one of these five meals, I have to eat it. Now, is it going to be a hamburger with fries? Probably not. It's probably going to be a piece of, uh, you know, piece of chicken with some brown rice and some broccoli or some salmon with a salad, uh, something healthy, basically. Uh, so I always say it's not how late you eat, it's what you eat. So don't be scared to eat late at night. There's been studies uh, to show that it can actually benefit you and help you towards your health and fitness goals to eat a nice healthy meal later in the day. Uh, please comment, please send me your messages if you have questions. Uh, if you'd like to share this video, if you think it could help somebody, please do so. Uh, I always end my, my Spanish videos saying te quiero mucho, so that means I love you guys. Thank you for your support, thank you for the shares, and thank you for the comments. Love you guys, take care.